Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to God of War 3 Remastered. We are still in the underworld. We've been stripped of our powers once again by the uh, the souls in the river sticks, and uh, yeah, now we're trying to get uh, get back up again because we uh, failed horrendously at our first attempt of getting revenge. And uh, now it's, uh, of course, as a typical God of War fashion, we need to work our way up again. Build up our strength and uh, take the fight to Zeus again. So uh, Hades itself is probably waiting for us down here. But what is this? Can we actually interact with this now? Just a bit of uh, collectibles. I don't think I can even remove those chains. So let's head back. A bit of uh, red orbs for us to gather. Because I don't think I can already upgrade anything in the upgrade screen. So now I need 4,000 orbs to power up my blades. And that's the only thing we have because we have also lost our uh, magical abilities. Oh no, we still have those. And of course the lovely corpse is falling down all around us. I love this visualization of the underworld where the, the corpses of everybody that die, dies just fall down. And yeah, they just drop down straight into the underworld. And there we have the man himself. Uh, army of Sparta, summon a protective phalanx of shields and spears that will drive your enemies back. So uh, now we can use R2. There we go, it's a circle attack again. Okay. So it's his, uh, his previous brethren that have come back to uh, help him out. Just use the attack. There we go. It's meant to teach you the attack. I get it. I get it. There we go. Just keep doing that. And we'll be fine. And switch directions right at the end to get the big finisher on the remaining dudes. There we go. The spears drop down again. And we can move on along that chain. You do, Hades? You do? You're a bit of a sick bastard, aren't you? There we go, on the chain, and let's move forward. So yeah, kicking dudes off the chain is really annoying, so it kind of lost a few, uh, a bit of health down there. And there's a piece of paper on the floor of the underworld, a note scrawled by a tortured soul. This oppressive darkness is no place for a delicate flower to bloom. Tonight, I honor Hades' requ Hades's request and join his stable, but I swear on the morrow, I will leave this foul place with you at my side. Nothing shall keep me from you, my darling Persephone, Perithius. So, uh, yeah, Perithius was uh, the guy, well, the, the love of Persephone, the woman that was stolen from uh, the earth to be uh, Hades' wife. And uh, who was also the uh, main antagonist of the, I think it's called the PSP game, The Ghost of Sparta, God of War, The Ghost of Sparta, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, yeah, she didn't like her fate any more than her lover did. So uh, let's open that up. A bit of blue and a bit of red. And we're already at 1,194 red orbs. And let's add to that a bit more. Because there's more where that came from. Let's just keep opening chests. So yeah, the chest opening animation has improved a lot in the newer God of War. So uh, that's something they improved upon. But uh, let's open this up. Alternating buttons, because yeah, this game is all about the quick time events, isn't it? There we go. And we have the Gorgon. So uh, Medusa is a Gorgon, so a snake-like creature that can petrify her opponents. And we like just kicking her ass as well. And there we go, we can evade her gaze. And there we go, let's grab her ass and stab. And I think that has a stick animation, right? And pull her back. And of course, let's decapitate the woman. Gorgon decapitation. Ripping off a Gorgon's head will always give magic orbs and freeze nearby enemies. Okay. Let's get rid of that. 
And there we go, smash this guy against the wall. And of course this works on other enemies as well. And magic attack. And let's grab her ass. Swipe her in the... Oh, that was the wrong butt. Use the wrong butt. Let's try that again. Thought it was going to be the same thing every time, but no siree, I was mistaken. And flash freeze. Ooh. Crushed, and that gives us a, a bit more orbs as well. So this difficulty is also perfect to have, uh, to get the trophy to unlock everything. Because of course we take more hits to kill enemies, which gives us uh, more orbs because our combo just goes higher. Uh, let's open up the other side of this room. And move on through the underworld. I do love the Blades of Exile. They're a bit more fiery than the, the previous incarnations. They were more, uh, well, monster inspired with the blades themselves. And this is actually just the face of a very horribly mutilated man. Don't seem to be spending all that much magic when I'm doing that attack. So more of those branches blocking our way to uh, another save point. So let's just go to the Ew. side here. And then we get our first, well, real NPC character. I have suffered enough, Spartan. And there he is. Hades, he sentenced me to this eternal torture. My prison of tinder. But now that you are here, you can free me. All I have left is my bow. Please, free me, and it is yours. So there's Peritus himself, the lover of Persephone. Um, and yeah, Hades didn't want him to come down here and steal his wife back. And there's like, uh, yeah, there's a little Cerberus over there. Uh, I don't need any of that. Let me see how this works again. Of course, because that's what Kratos is all about. So we jumped on top of that, and now we can burn his uh, his stuff Keep away. away. Keep the flames away. But now I can't do anything yet, so let's just hop off first. And then use the elevated position this thing gives us to you move over here. Fire. I cannot help you. And now we can get over here and grab this thing. So uh, the little servers in the back actually spews flames, so if we drop this off... It actually lights this thing on fire. And there we go. We can get up there and pull the lever. Which frees the hound. And then of course we can use the hound to set the bramble aflame. So after whittling down the beast you can actually take control of it. There we go. Let's ride this beastie. And uh, there we go. A few fireballs. And let's head towards uh, the man who realizes his terrible ending. Because, yeah, as I said before, this isn't nice Kratos. Because we're just, yeah, brutally burning a man alive. And while we're done with the dogs, let's just um, tre tree capitate him. Double capitate him. Double decapitate. Yeah, something like that. The bow of Apollo. A fiery bow that once belonged to the gold Apollo. Which is weird, because normally Apollo and Helios are the same guy. And there we go. Thank you, Athena, for that uh, lovely voiceover. Burn to a crisp. I need to block. So there we go. Now with the bow, we can just fast fire a few arrows. And we have a new uh, bar. The item bar, the yellow bar, you can see. And now we can use the bow to just take care of the bramble. Because we can light stuff on fire as much as we want to. There's one more quote-unquote hidden area in this uh, this level. There we go. A charged up shot takes care of the bramble. And then we can use the lift from this thing to soar over here. God damn it. There we go. Let's grab this poor dude. And then we get our first, uh, well, quote-unquote collectible. Because uh, in these chests you have uh, the upgrade material. So Phoenix Feathers, uh, if we collect three of those, we increase our magic bar. So that's the first one of those. 
at our first, another, uh, another, not first, another red chest for our troubles. So let's head back and uh, leave the burnt corpse of Peritus over there and then just charge up the bow and take care of this bramble. Ta-da! Path forward cleared. And now we can use this uh, save point to, uh, well, save our progress. So this is kind of the loop that the older God of Wars all went through. So you uh, gather more and more special equipment. It's not as much as in, uh, in the new God of War. We didn't get to do that, that much because we had the shield, we had the axe. There were only a few new abilities that we learned along the way that were really required to solve puzzles. But uh, in this game, yeah, we get a lot more tools at our dispo uh, disposal. So Minotaur Horns, if we... Get three of those, we increase our overall item power. So that's the yellow bar that would increase. And I think we can actually just leave the two chests. A note scrawled by a tortured soul, the melody. It plays on and will not stop. The voice sings of pain and loss. These things I know too well, but still can bear. It is when the voice sings of hope that I learn true anguish. A longing for that which I can never have. So yeah. And you can see the pillars, because uh, this is a literal underworld, so you can see the pillars in the distance holding up the world, uh, well, up top. And that's actually one of the the more the themes of the, one of the PSP God of War games as well, because the, the Titan that holds up the world is actually threatening to just let go in that game. Ah, that explains why I couldn't kill that guy, because something's about to happen. So, Harpies! Dive bombing the shit out of us, but uh, Harpies are pretty easy because we can just grab them if I get the chance. There we go. And once a Harpy is on the ground, you can just grab it and rip its wings off, but that's pretty much it. So let's brutalize a few of these guys as well because we get more orbs for every brutal kill we do. And during grab animations, as I said before, we're completely invincible. We do get a bit of health back as well, which I might actually use. There we go. A 22 hit combo and a bit of mutilation added in the mix. That gets us almost to 3000 orbs already. Which is nice, which is nice. Oh yeah, and that in the distance, of course, is that same chain we saw in the previous episode. So the chain held holding Olympus and the Underworld together, which is a uh, hold by... Held by three statues down here. Let's go down there. Bit hard to see where I was at, but let's open up this white chest, which contains a bit of a collection. And then I think we can just get to the ledge. Come on. Come on. Come on, Kratos. And there we go. Typical video game uh, fashion. You just go in the opposite direction and you get a collectible. So Gorgonai is the same as the other collectibles, only for the health bar. So moving on because these uh, climbing sections can be a bit uh, boring. And there we go, the judges of the underworld. The three lovely fellows holding this chain together. And there's a golden statue in the water there as well, which is uh, might be related to the singing we've heard before. Uh, we don't really need the help, we just need to swing from one chain to the next. And go down. Oh, I almost killed myself there. Let's do this. A message is emblazoned on the plate. Those who seek to be judged must first complete the trials of Erebus. And there we go. Let's go do that right now. Because, uh, of course, the trials of Erebus is just uh, are just some uh, combat trials. Trial 1. The Condemned. Fueled by fear, the lost from the world above have nowhere to escape from their sins. Defeat all the lost souls and the minions that determine their fate. There we go. So we can use these to get health, because I don't think they can actually damage us. They're just gonna They're just gonna go away and we just need to uh grr, Yeah. That's what I thought. They're gonna change the uh the humans over here into zombies. And we just need to defeat all those creepy hands, which are actually the same hands that grabbed Kratos at the beginning of God of War 2 and pull him inside of the underworld. 
And there we go, that's most of them down. Easy first challenge. Trial 2, the lost. Why do the condemned souls of Hades continue to seek salvation when they are eternally damned? Kill wandering souls before they are converted into Hades' army. So when they hit the walls, they turn into a freaking Minotaur. Okay. Uh, no, no, come on. Just keep my eye on the Minotaur. So when he gores me, or attempts to gore me, I can actually take him out and just use the bow. No, the other guy. Yeah, there we go. Use the bow in between. And of course our magic attacks. Oh, I got gored. And then take down the Minotaur. And just give it a bit of a dental exam. There we go. Minotaur stab. Killing a Minotaur this way will always give you health orbs. So that's good to know. And I think we killed most of the other guys without the need for uh, anything else. And there we go. Finish them off with a fiery arrow. On to the next challenge. Trial 3, the chosen. To enter the gates of Elysia, more than perseverance and strength is required. Step forward to attempt judgment and prove your worth. Destroy everything. And there we go. Just want to get rid of the harpies first. There we go. Oh, I'm getting annoyed by this. Let's just grab her ass. And finish her off. And decapitation. Flash. And I think harpies immediately die when they are actually flashed. So just spamming the magic attack a bit to just get rid of one of the Minotaurs at least. Because this was getting a bit much. Rootless kill. And then we can move our attention to the other Minotaur. You can actually just shoulder charge a Minotaur like this. To immobilize him a bit longer. And then just grab his ass. And jam the blade into there. Goodbye. And help for us, and that means we completed the Trials of the Judges. And that's it. So uh, let's go and see what we can do on this plate over here. Mystery. There we go. So now it goes down when we stand on it. And the Judges release the chains. We are the three Judges. Face your final judgment, mortal. King Eagus has found you wanting. King Radamanthus has found you worthy. It falls to me, King Minos, to make the final decision. Your future is cloaked in shadow. The realm of the afterlife is not yet ready for you. Beyond that door waits your destiny. So interesting, it kind of puts us back in the new God of War as well, since, well, the judges don't want us to go through because they don't know what our future holds, and since we know that uh, Kratos eventually ends up in Norse mythology, in the realm of the Aesir and Midgard, that, uh, yeah, that makes you think if they, if they thought about that beforehand. I don't think they did, but uh, there we go. I'm gonna actually take a little break, so with the judges done, we're gonna take a little break, and when we get back, we're gonna head towards that portal and go through that and see what lies on the other side so thank you guys enormously for watching and i hope to see you guys in the next episode of god of war 3 remastered goodbye